Hey everyone, welcome to episode one on assembling the Simple Core MK1 version. This is the official MK1 release build. I'm going to be doing a big build series on this printer. A lot of videos coming up on this, upgrades, that type of thing. First thing I want to say is I have... It dawned on me basically that I should really be using the Voron Trident frame. Um, there's a lot of reasons for this. Simple Core was always inspired by uh, the Trident. Um, it has the three point bed, like three independent Z, like the Trident does. Um, it's Core XY. The frame was very similar. It just makes so much sense to actually start with a trident frame. Um, you get blind joints basically right away for free, essentially. Uh, you get Voron trident panels now. You can enclose Simple Core really, really easily. The belt path is still Simple Core. I'm not using Voron belt path. You can see the motors are at the front here, just like Simple Core. I have redesigned the Y carriages here, so they are Simple Core style. There are idler mounts on the back, just like Simple Core. Again, I'm trying to simplify the tridents, and that's the that was the goal of Simple Core all along. I was adding to get ready for this build, I was adding all the extrusions and everything to Amazon. I was adding the corner plates, I was adding like all the hardware, all that kind of thing, and Basically, the price was more than a Trident frame or the same price. So, why not start with a high quality frame for the same price and I get all of these benefits? Um, another reason for this is I am going to the Voron um, belt path as far as how the belts route to the tool head. The reason for this is now you can run any Voron tool head you want. Stealth Burner, Afterburner, ABBN, Mantis. I'm going to be doing the Mantis tool head on here because I want dual 50-15 fans. This is going to be a PLA printer. I want a high-performance PLA machine, and that's why I'm building this. I ordered the Voron carbon fiber tube for this from Mello. That's another uh, great reason. A lot of the Voron mods now apply to this printer, so the ecosystem for Simple Core just grew. And, um, I mean, I'll say this, if you wind up buying, building Simple Core and for whatever reason you don't like it, you can easily build a Trident. You're not locked into Simple Core, and if there's something you don't like about Simple Core, it's very inexpensive to just swap over to a Voron Trident afterwards if you find out something about the Simple Core you don't like. You're not, you didn't waste any money. So, it just makes a whole lot of sense to me to do this. And I think it will make Simple Core even better. So like I say, this is a LDO uh, frame. So very high quality LDO frame. I chose the red, red anodized frame. This is a Iron Man theme build. Most of the uh, build is essentially the same spec or very close to the spec of original Simple Core. Um, I am changing up a couple of things, uh, so MGN 9, because the MGN are going to mount to the frame. I am going to be doing a belted Z as well. I'm going to do lead screw Z first, just because it's the simplest to get this printer running and functional, and then I will do a belted Z. The belted Z and the lead screw Z will apply to an older Simple Core frame as well. So a lot of these will translate over if you have an older Simple Core frame. But if you're building a Simple Core today, I definitely recommend going with a Trident, going with a Voron uh, frame kit. They're widely available from all over the world. You know, AliExpress, tons of vendors in the States, there's vendors in Canada, there's vendors everywhere for inexpensive, high quality frames. So it just made a lot of sense. But like I say, this is still Simple Core. I'm still doing my own design and my own stuff. You'll notice the brand new Simple Core uh, foot mounts here, just like Bijou. These are much nicer. Um, they're stronger. They look really, really good. 
uh, power supply mount, brand new MK1 revision for the power supply mount, as well as the power supply inlet, you can see over there. The lead screw Z is essentially the Trident style. However, I'm doing my own simpler version for the actual bed mount, which we'll go over in episode two. But um, I'm not using any of the hard to find or um, really oddball parts like spherical bearings and things like that. It's still simple core. The bed is mounted directly to the 2020 T and that T is mounted just to the ledges. Um, again, I'm not enclosing this printer. I don't really have to worry too much about thermal expansion. It should be totally fine. I can eliminate all that complexity. Again, you can see at the back here of the frame, I'm not mounting the motors at the back. So I have just these simple core um, mounts there to replace where the A and B motors would be on a Trident. Because again, I want to simplify the belt path. I don't want all those bearings. I don't want all the friction. I don't want any of that. I still want this to be simple core. So for as for this episode one assembly video, it's relatively straightforward. You assemble the frame as per the Voron manual. These are blind joints, M5 by 16 uh, button head bolts is what I used, thread locked all of them. Um, I did design uh, basically a mashup of the original Voron Y carriage. I adapted it to my belt style. So these are new printed parts for that. They assemble very similar to the Trident style. I am using um, the bearing idlers for the front here. And then I'm using uh, 20 tooth idlers for the rear. And then I have designed the idler mounts at the back you can see there. These are the MK1 uh, motor mounts. However, these are specific to the Voron Trident frame. The motors have been moved out a little bit to be in line with the Voron belt path. Again, I wanted to make sure I kept the Voron belt path because I want to make sure you can use Voron tool heads. And as an example, I am using the Mantis tool head because I want the best PLA cooling I can possibly get. So, on a Voron frame, the belts actually meet at the MGN 12 carriage here. So I have to make a slight revision to the Voron tool head here. It's very, very minor, but my belt path, my belts are actually flipped. So the teeth of the belt do not face forward like a Voron tool head would. My belts, the teeth face the actual MGN 12. So what I've done here is I made a really simple um, belt adapter plate so that the teeth are facing the other way. So they're held in place with the actual mounting of the MGN. And then this is my Mantis tool head mount. I've just smoothed out where the teeth would normally be for a regular Voron. And so this will actually sandwich in between the two here so that my belts still lock in place, look just like they would be, and I can use the Mantis tool head. So again, this is a very, very minor revision. I just basically cut out the, the teeth here. I think I removed like two or three millimeters from this, so everything will still be the same. That is the only um, variation. So I'm really excited to do Mantis on this build. Uh, like I say, because of the uh, dual 5015 fans. Um, I've also made my own revision of the Mantis tool head here. I am going to be using the Clicky probe. Uh, I just prefer Clicky. It's a little bit easier to build. And um, so this will, of course, support Clicky out of the box, just like the original Simple Core did. And then, yeah, um, pretty straightforward. Your lead screw Z mounts here mount up just like they should. There's nothing out of the ordinary as far as assembling this. There's not a whole lot I need to talk about. I had these closed loop stepper motors from Carbon Core, so I'm just reusing them. This isn't like simple core spec or this won't be in the bill of materials, the closed loop ones. They'll just be regular NEMA 17s. Um, but if you want to use closed loop, you can. I had them, so why not use them? 
This printer is going to be getting a uh, Big Tree Tech Manta M8P. They kindly sent me one for review. So I'm going to be putting that on here with a CB1. Um, I have been told that Big Tree Tech has fixed all the Wi-Fi issues with the CB1. So I ordered a brand new CB1 and heatsink for my Manta M8P. So that's going to be great. And uh, yeah, basically in episode two, we'll start talking about the Z, mounting the bed, that type of thing. And um, again, I'm really excited to incorporate all of the things I've learned from the past building simple cores. Um, this is like my third or fourth simple core build now. And already I'm really, really enjoying the frame. It just makes a lot of sense to me. Definitely uh, feel free to join my Discord. There's obviously a Simple Core channel on there. We have a great community of people building Simple Cores. And um, I'm going to be making a brand new bill of materials uh, for this. I have changed the GitHub. So I've taken the previous Simple Core parts and I've put them into a Simple Core Legacy folder. So if someone still wants to build Simple Core Legacy, that's completely fine. Um, I'm kind of done with Simple Core the old version and updating the parts. So you can wait for the newer Z. I, I again, I, I want to mount the MGN to the frame. Now I do not want them to be floating in midair like the original Simple Core did. They should all mount to the frame. That is the most important thing for a build is getting your MGN rails parallel with your frame. You will get really bad layer stacking and weird issues if you don't have parallel MGN um, 9 or 12s with the frame. So like I say, I will be doing new bill of materials for this. Not a whole lot is going to change, but if users are wanting to still build the original Simple Core, it's now called Simple Core Legacy, and all the parts are still on the GitHub in their own folder. If you're starting out brand new, fresh, and want to build a Simple Core, I highly recommend going with the Voron frame and then that way you'll get the Voron compatibility with a lot of different mods and that type of thing. So definitely feel free to leave any questions or comments below. I'll have in my description my Discord, my Patreon, um, all the information you can find out about this printer. And again, please feel free to subscribe. There's a lot of videos coming with Simple Core. There's going to be more videos coming out for my Defiant cross gantry printer as well as new builds and new designs coming out. So again, thanks everyone for the new subscribers. We're about to hit 2000, which is just amazing. I really appreciate all support. I really appreciate all the Patreons. And I'll catch you next time in episode two. Thanks everyone.